Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is our fifth video of our series where we are deploying Palo Alto virtual appliance on Azure using high availability. So as per our project plan in fifth video, we are going to configure interfaces, zones, virtual routers and management profile in both of our virtual appliances. So let's move to our Azure portal, go to virtual machines. We should be able to see both of our, our virtual appliances here. All right, so let's find out the pub. Uh, this is the public IP address of the virtual appliance one. Copy it and paste it in the new window. Similarly, we'll open second firewall as well. HTTPS paste the public IP address this is the management IP address all right let's log into the first firewall our username is fellow admin and the password save it for now admin, admin. All right, let's move back to our first firewall. It's uh, named as Palo FW01. So first we will configure our interfaces on the first firewall. Let's give it some time. Meanwhile, uh, we need to ensure that once the firewall is provisioned, we need to ensure that the proper NSG is assigned to the management interface. So if you go to networking of your firewall, go to the management interface, which is ETH0, click on the network interface, go to network security group and ensure that the proper network security group is there sometimes after deployment uh, if network security group is not there you will not be able to access your firewall from outside so make sure this network security group is assigned uh, so this is first time we are logging into firewall so it may take some time let's verify the status of our firewall Yeah, it's, status is running yeah all good this should not take much time i'll pause the video once the firewall is back then i'll resume it oh i think it's already back yeah. all right so we managed to log in go to network All right, so Ethernet 0 is our management interface. So Ethernet 1 will configure for the WAN traffic. So click on Ethernet 1.
Okay, so then let's start our configuration with the Ethernet one, which will be used for the untrust interface. Click on the interface. Increments add untrust. In interface type, it will be layer 3 interface. All right. Select layer 3. In configuration, select a virtual router. So we'll create a new virtual router. For our untrust interface, let's give it a name. We call it untrust VR. That's it. All right. Now let's create a new security zone as well. So we'll click on new. All right. So let's give it a name zone untrust zone all right okay, let's go to ipv4 just verify what are the ip settings it should be dot four on the van untrust yeah so just copy this ip go back to your firewall click add make sure there are no spaces yeah okay now let's go to advanced in management profile select the new management profile so let's name it uh, untrust mp mp for management profile and for untrust we'll will allow ssh and in permitted IPs, we'll just Google it. Let's uh, Azure Load Balancer Prob IP Address. If you Google it, you'll know what is the IP address. Here you go, 168.63.129. Go back here to your management profile. Add it with slash 32. Make sure there are no spaces. Yeah, all good that's it so it means we will allow ssh from this particular ip these ip is used by microsoft for the uh, load balancer props so our untrust interface is configured click ok similarly we'll configure our ethernet 1 slash 2 this in interface will be used for the trust traffic so let's give it a comment trust Okay. make sure it's interface type, type is layer 3 all right now go to configuration once again create a new virtual router give it a name untrust hyphen vr that's it Oh, sorry. It should be trust. Yeah. And security zone. Once again, we'll configure a new security zone. Click on new. Give it trust zone. If you have a DMZ interface, similarly, you can configure DMZ interface and then you can create a, a new VR and security zone as well. So if we go back to our firewall, just find out what's the IP address assigned. Copy that IP address, come back to your fellow firewall and paste it in the interface IP address section. All right, 172.16.204. Now let's go to advanced, 
we need to create a new management profile for our trust interface as well so we'll call it trust hyphen mp management profile and we'll allow traffic from https and once again we'll just copy that azure load balancer ip go back to your profile yep add it with slash 32 make sure there are no spaces all right so now both of our interfaces are configured on the firewall number one our zones are also configured trust and untrust zone and our virtual routers are also configured we are not going to use default virtual router so you can just delete it all right and if you go to interface management profile we have uh, two management profiles as well so similar configurations we will replicate on our firewall too so i'll pause the video i'll configure the interfaces similarly the way we have configured on firewall one and then i'll get back to you once all the configurations are done so i'll pause the video for now all right now we have configured um, interfaces on both the firewalls as you can see it's a firewall 2 and all the interfaces are configured plus zones have been created and virtual routers have been configured as well so now the last step is uh, to create the routes in our untrust and trust virtual routers so go to uh, network virtual routers untrust via Go to static routes and add routes here so same routes will be created for both the firewalls once again i'll show you routes only on the prime first firewall and similarly you can create routes on second firewall as well so this is default route so we'll create with uh, default route interface will be ethernet one by one and ip address will be the gateway address of our untrust interface so if you go back to your azure portal copy this ip 192.168.200.5 paste it here and change 5 with 1 so 192.168.200.1 is our gateway ip so first default route is added now second route we will add for our trust interface trust interface so our trust interface ip range is 172.16.200.0 so i'll just paste it here and we will send this traffic to uh, the next hop will be next vr which is trust vr so it what it means is that any traffic which hits untrust interface and the destination is the trust interface send it to trust via that is done third route we will add for our test vm so that also means that in case there is any traffic for the test vm network just send it to trust via so i'll just paste the network here we'll name it as test vm1 In IP addresses select next via and select trust via that's done similarly we'll create another route for test VM network 2 so we'll just clone the test VM 1 network rename it to test VM 2 test VM 2 so test VM 2 is 172.200.200 okay yeah that's done on the untrust vr side now let's click on trust vr all right so for trust vr uh first of all we need to create a default route and the default route will be created towards the untrust vr so what does it mean it means that any traffic hitting on trust interface send it to next vr which is untrust so we'll name it default 0.0.0.0 and next hope is next via so click on next via and select untrust 
yeah so it means any traffic on the trust interface will be sent to untrust interface second route will add here for azure lp probe all right so we remember what is the azure probe LP, uh, ip address we'll just copy it from here yeah, go back to firewall enter in destination destination with slash 32 it's a single ip address all right in interface we'll select interface one ip2 ip address here we'll put in the trust interface ip uh, trust interface gateway ip so our trust interface is 172.16.200 so we'll paste it here and we'll change it to one so one is the gateway ip address for our trust interface yeah so click ok now uh, we also need to create um, our temp vms networks here so i'll just copy the subnet once again all right so let's paste the subnet in the destination we'll call it test vm1 and the interface will be 1-2 ip address will be uh, 172.16.200.1 this is the gateway ip of our trust interface on the firewall so that's for the vm1 just click ok now copy and clone yeah so similarly we'll create another route for our test vm2 just change the subnet so it will be 200 that's it so we are done with our routing as well so click on commit you can add comments in description if you want and after that click ok so that's it we are done for uh, our routing part as well at this moment um, we should be able to communicate internally uh, remember there is no untrust uh, when ip assigned yet we will assign it in the next video but uh, for now our internal communication between the test vms should work similar route configurations i'll make on firewall 2 and i'll get back to you so i'll pause the video for now all right so we have created similar routes on the firewall 2 as well as you can see you can see four static routes for trust vr and four static routes for untrust vr similarly if you go back to firewall 1 there are four routes in each of the virtual routers so that's it we are done for now uh, if you can see both the interfaces are up similarly on firewall 2 uh, both interfaces are showing up so that's it we are done for now we'll see you in next video if you have any comments or if you if you are not clear about anything just leave your question in comments and we'll get back to you thank you